packing lunches. This could be a point of constraint for many, especially if you have a picky family member on your hands. But you know how important it is to empower your family to make healthy choices, and I want to help you with some of my favorite tips on family meal prep and healthy school lunch ideas for picky eaters. Before we get started, I have a free resource for you in the description below, but I encourage you to watch my video, Balanced Diet Tips for Kids, How to Help Your Kids Eat Healthy. So it comes down to education. Kids are more receptive than we give them credit for. If we can take the time to educate our kids about the effects of sugar, rather than telling them no without an explanation, then they are more inclined and empowered to make healthier choices. Like for example, when I speak to kids groups, I like to bring food items to actually show them and ask them which one would they choose and what's the healthier option. My favorite example is an orange versus orange juice. I never want to see any child ever drink an orange juice. It is loaded with sugar, but an orange? Yeah, I'm not worried about an orange. But when I teach kids this, I teach them why the orange is healthy and the orange juice is not. I teach them about the fiber. I teach them about the sugar content. I teach them about overprocessing, And that way they now have the knowledge to make that choice for themselves. So in my years of doing this and working with kids, what I've noticed a couple of tips for you parents is to let your child have a choice of what to buy at the grocery store. So as far as healthy kid items. So we're talking about, ask them, um, would you like, what kind of protein would you like? Would you like pepperoni? Would you like, would you like lunch meat? What protein would you like? If they feel like they have a choice in the whole matter, they're gonna be so much more receptive to this. Also, let your kids help you make the item, make the food, make the lunch, get them involved in it. If they're gonna take ownership of it, if they've had a hand in making it. So just a few ideas for you. We're talking bacon, eggs, avocado with some salt sprinkled on top, code red crepes with almond butter and sugar-free syrup, chia pudding, nuts, seeds, sausage snacks, vegetables, dips. Guys, there's a ton of ideas here. And remember, our idea is to eliminate the sugar. We want the sugar out of your kid's life so they don't come and see me in 15 years. And if you are stumped for ideas, guys, make sure you pick up the Code Red Cookbook. Over 240 recipes plus an index with a special section just for your kids. I've said it before and I'll say it again because I can't stress this enough. This isn't about restricting or shaming you or your family. It's about empowering you with the tools and the knowledge you need as a parent to take control of your family's health so that you can all live a full life full of energy, hope, and healing. If that sounds like something that you want and you would love to join a community of Code Red families, click on my free resource down below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and better yet, subscribe to my channel. That way you're notified when I come out with a new video. But listen to me, I wanna hear from you and I love hearing about your kids. So comment below and tell me, what is your child's favorite Code Red meal? Tell me what their favorite Code Red food is, and I'll see you on the next video.